Here we have a previously timed time study and it's basically a repetitive operation. So the guy's buffing the sides, buff the bottom, the side and get next. Buff the sides, buff the bottom, the side and get next. Okay, so it repeats itself over and over again. Then we want to add our actual cycle count in here. So what I'm going to do is click on the time study and I'm going to go to my cycle here. And you can see here it inserts a column here for the cycles. And then we're just going to add our cycles. So the first one is obviously number one. I click on one, put it in here. Click on the OK to represent the cycle. Hit the OK for each of the currencies. The hold the values keeps it in one constant place. And now it's going to go on to the second cycle. I hit the plus sign to move it up and I apply it to the three. And then I'm going to go on to the third one. And I do the same thing, keep on going. And the guy does a little repetition on this one, back to here. That's the end of the third one. And now we're going to go to the fourth one. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm quickly identifying the cycles as you go down through the uh, the observations here. Just run down through it here. You can actually do it in real time as well. In other words, if you save the observation with this up, but uh, you know, to be honest, very rarely see people recording the cycle as at that particular point in the process. This gives you an easy way to identify which steps are included in which cycle that the operator is working in.